Cool, we're recording, yay! So I am here with Jonna, um, and I just noticed that it shows your, your whole name, so I'm gonna block that out. Okay. <laughs> when this goes up. <laughs> but I'm so excited to be here with Jonna. Jonna is such a wonderful soulmate success story, and I love seeing her face pop up in the group, and I love seeing her, all her words of wisdom and ins inspiration and encouragement that she shares with the group. She's just such a lovely person, and I'm so happy that she has all these beautiful, uh, the, all the beautiful, rich things that her, that her life and her heart can hold, because she deserves all of it. Um, thank you so much, Jonna, for talking today with, with me about your journey. I really appreciate that because like we were saying, you never know who needs to hear what you have to say um, so that they can get the inspiration that they need to create the life that they deserve to have too, the love life that they deserve to have too. Mm -hmm. So let's kind of start at the beginning. When we first connected, I think we first connected through the Date with Confidence Challenge, right? Yes. Um, it was the second round, I believe. So the second time you did it, I was able to join in. Um, yeah, it, yeah, it was fairly, it was in the beginning, I think it was right, yeah. right in the beginning. Yeah. So that would have been like, uh, two, 2016. I think that would have been like beginning of 2016, February, yeah. March ish, like right around in there. Yep. It was right in the beginning of 2016. Yes, yeah. Absolutely. Cool. And um, when you first came into the, the Date with Confidence Challenge, uh, for people watching that don't know what that is, that's a free challenge that I did um, back in 2016 to help women, high vibe single women, uh, attract their soulmates. Um, and when you first came into that challenge, what was going on in your love life? Um, I was just dating, um, and not really very much going on, just <laughs> the same kind of people over and over and over again, very non-committal, um, very Peter Pan kind of guys, <laughs> um, just out there trying to tick off numbers, I guess you could say, or have fun or, you know, just maybe be friends with extra whatever just mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah <laughs> i love that you say peter pan kind of guys i've never heard it described that way but that's perfect like the never grow up kind of guy mm -hmm. just oh. forever a boy right <laughs> yeah just a yep. boy always i love that mm -hmm. so yeah. when we started to do the challenge together um what do you feel like were your doubts sort of coming in or did you have doubts coming in or did you think like this is going to be a challenge for me because xyz did you feel like that at all well yeah i mean when i first came in i wasn't sure how the cycle was going to get broken mm -hmm. of the same guys returning and it wasn't even the same type it was it was the same types of of new guys Mm -hmm. And it was also my exes would constantly forever come back and come back and come back. So yeah. it was like a, a revolving door and I wasn't sure how that cycle was going to get broken. Yeah. If that makes any sense. It was just like, it's been going on for a very long time. How is this going to stop? So I wasn't sure what was going to make it. So it was not continuing on that path forever. <laughs> that was yeah. my biggest fear that I was going to be stuck in this revolving door for eternity. <laughs> Ever. I know that's how it feels. It's like, it is never going to change. It will mm -hmm. always be like this because even the new guys are like this. Right. Right. Yeah. Every, everyone was like that. Yeah. Yeah. And it's such an interesting thing because it's, it's a pattern in energy that we have to heal but our intellect keeps telling us, I can just do something different. I just need to change things up. Like, right. I can solve this problem. <laughs> and it's like, until we deal with the energetic side, then all the stuff we're doing on the objective, like the practical side, isn't super helpful, you know? Right. But yeah. So we did the date with confidence challenge. And mm -hmm. what did you start to notice as we were doing the challenge? Um, in the beginning, 
how I would change my perception, my behavior, my thoughts, my energy. Um, the men were changing as I was changing. So what I was putting out is what I was getting back. Um, and in the beginning, you're kind of bouncing around everywhere and not quite sure which direction you need to go, which um, behaviors you need to tweak, which energy you need to change the vibration of. Um, so you kind of get that unsureness back in when you're in the beginning because mm -hmm. you're kind of putting the un, <laughs> yeah. you know, the not so confident out, right? Yeah, so you're getting that, um, you're putting uncertainty out and you're kind of getting it back. Yeah. <laughs> right. And then you're like, oh, and so it was kind of like a reflection mm -hmm. from a mirror. Mm -hmm. So what I would see in my dates was clearly what I was putting out <laughs> of myself. And I'm, oh, okay, that needs to change. <laughs> so it was like a ever evolving process, I guess. Um, so as I was changing myself and as I was becoming more confident and kind of focusing more on myself and what I was putting out, then that's what I was getting back. So, um, you know, at each level, at each different exercise, um, just the different things that you would have us do, um, it would get better and better. And then when we started uh, the love lists, I would revise it. Mm -hmm. So I would go out on dates, you know, for a week or two. And then I would say, oh, that didn't really work well. Or, oh, I don't really like this. Maybe I'll put the opposite on my list and and put the positive side the flip side of whatever that was and that's how my list got so long <laughs> it, it ends up working once you once you realize what you really want yeah and, 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 and focus that whole, on yourself yeah that dating process is how you figure out what you really want oh absolutely you know? yeah. so many dates yeah i think for a lot of women it's like, um, a, I've talked to a lot of women who've been afraid to write the love list, just the first version of the love list, because they want it to be perfect when they write it, because they're like, this is a powerful thing. I've heard it's powerful. It totally worked for my friend, you know, and now I'm going to write this love list. And they feel like, <laughs> you know, like it's going to be this, they're going to wave this wand and like, but what if he's not the right guy? <laughs> you know, like, what if I mess it all up? And what actually happens with the love list is it's a tool it's a manifesting tool and it's there for you to learn what that you're a powerful manifester so that you can go oh i'm a powerful manifester i need to get clear on my vision because right. it's gonna manifest mm -hmm. yeah yeah absolutely and you know it's funny because i'm doing um a house list now for our forever home mm -hmm. and Mike keeps telling me to stop trying to manifest this house. He's like, because what if the people that want to move that are in the house? <laughs> I'll take pictures of myself in front of the house that I want, or you know, my list keeps getting longer and longer and longer. Mm -hmm. And he's like, Did you do this with me? Is this how you got me? And I'm like, Yeah, actually, You're it like, is. Yes. <laughs> so I will get my house because I got you. <laughs> and I'm so glad you said that because it's like, that's one of the things, like when we look at what we've created for ourselves so far, that's why gratitude is so important because it's like gratitude makes us look at what's in our life right now and go, I manifested this. Mm -hmm. I can manifest more because look what I did. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I manifested my job too. So it's, I'm just going, I'm going for everything. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'm going to have it all. All sides of that perfect square of life, that health, wealth, love, success, like all of it, you know, you're having mm -hmm. all of it. I love all of that. <laughs> so speaking of Mike, how did you and Mike meet? How'd you end up meeting? Mike was my fourth date in a weekend. I think I went out on <laughs> Friday night, Saturday day, Saturday night, and he, um, I was on online. Um, and he had, we've been kind of messaging back and forth and it was Sunday morning and he messaged me and he said, do you want to do something today? And I was like, oh gosh, I'm so tired. Do I want to do anything? I'm like this weekend has been so long and I've gone out with so many people and 
And I'm like, okay, fine. Right. Okay. Let's go. And we ended up going on to top golf. So we went golfing, which I love to golf. So I was in my element. Um, and you know, we, we went out and I was like, oh, he's okay. You know, he's all right. <laughs> and wasn't completely blown away or anything. Um, was it love at first sight? You know, and I went home and he texted me and how awesome he had a great time and how much he wanted to go out again. And he was going to um, California um, for a vacation and he wanted to see me before he went. So we had to get another date out of the way within the next three days or something. Like that. <laughs> uh, yeah. And then uh, we went out again and then he texted me the whole time he was on vacation he came back and we went out again. We just kept going out, kept going out. And I'm like, okay. And I revisited my love list. And every time I revisited it, and the more I got to know him, I start checking things off. <laughs> checking, 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 checking. <laughs> I was like, I think this is the guy. <laughs> and then how did you feel when you noticed that like he was matching so many things on the list? Well, then I started paying attention more, you know, it was like, okay, all right, let's, let's see how these things go. And I would put him in like my element or, you know, I, I have him do things that I enjoyed and have him eat foods that I enjoy, which I obviously knew later on, he never touched a vegetable ever, ever, ever <laughs> eat vegetables more than anything. And on our second date, I, he was eating hummus for me and he was eating like all of these like veggie things and I didn't know that it was like such a huge thing for him to do <laughs> but he was doing all of these things for me while you know in the very beginning um mm -hmm. but yeah it was I mean like he he told me he loved me I think within like three weeks of us dating and it didn't feel weird to me and I was like okay yeah this is you're him. like this is him yeah he's here <laughs> it's him he's here and he's like I, I uh uh and I'm like did you just say I love you like on the phone he's like okay I love you buddy or something you know and he's like uh yeah okay all right I'll talk to you later because <laughs> he just felt it and he just said it and then he was like oh <laughs> he didn't mean to I think we were on our lunch breaks talking or something goofy but yeah no <laughs> totally like, didn't mean to do it hey just love you talk. bye oh <laughs> yeah. that's exactly what it was like I'm like okay <laughs> I love that because it's like so often you know we get into the kind of like the games about dating and what you should say and when you should say it and it's like when you just feel that you know when that person just feels that and they're so comfortable and you just you know you're like you're so good together that's a soulmate thing because you feel like there's a sense of recognition, you know, that's just not, it doesn't feel like, oh, I'm getting to know a brand new person. You almost feel like, like you already know each other in a way, like you, there's right. a level of comfort, like you already know each other. Yeah, absolutely. It was, we were very comfortable from the beginning. There was no awkwardness. It was no weird, should I, shouldn't I, this, that, the other. It was very very comfortable it, you know and that's why I was like okay you know it wasn't this like I was enraptured from the moment I met him or anything it was there was just like comfort level right and I was like oh okay you know yeah good, you know but uh <laughs> yeah I wasn't nervous or anything like that around him and I knew that's probably a really really good sign that's a great sign that's yeah. such a great sign I find that when women are really nervous around someone that they're dating they're not as much themselves. They don't right. behave like in their normal confidence, you know, bubbly, you know, happy self. They behave in this weird way trying to figure out what he's looking for and try to kind of mold into that and when when they're they when they can be themselves, he can actually get to know the real them and then they can have a real connection, you know. So right. I love that. So the two of you, you dated, you pulled out your love list and you were like, I think this is the dude. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then, um, so then what happened after that? So we did not get our big wedding, which we will be having probably 
think next year he said the goal is to do something big. We're probably going to be in Charleston mm-hmm. um, for the wedding. We're going to do something. My sister lives down there on the beach. Cool. Um, but we didn't get the wedding because we got married. We bought a new house and had a baby and <laughs> cars and, you know, and all these amazing, huge things happen where we didn't want to end up dropping a ton of money on a big show, right? You invested Uh, the money in in a life together instead of the ceremony of starting a life together. (laughs) Yes. Yes. So, you know, that will, that will come and that's fine. We have no problem with that. Um, You know, we're together, we're married. We have our, like I said, we have our house. We're going to get a bigger one um, soon. Um, The list says, uh, 2020. So that's when we're going to, we're going to move. <laughs> I'm <laughs> yeah. very confident in that. Um, we're going to stay in the same town. We found a great town, great schools for the boys. Um, everybody's very happy. You know, I've got my new job. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. Um, the baby is, he turned one in July. Mm-hmm. You have a little boy together. Yes. I, we do. I have seen the pictures and he, I, Oh my gosh, like I was telling you, like I can't look at his little face too long because I will have to have another baby. <laughs> yeah, he's ridiculous. His older brother has an Instagram for him. So he's got his <laughs> he's got his own Instagram. Um but yeah, his he is amazing. And you know, Mike loves my other two, the older two. He's very involved. He's a little league coach. He's at every track meet every cross country meet every wrestling meet every baseball game um he does everything for the boys so oh i love yes, that yes he's very involved i love that so yeah. often women will think well i'm a single mom and so i should not worry about dating i should just focus on my boys but i think sometimes what women miss is the fact that like to have this wonderful emotionally healthy man in your life isn't a selfish it's not like just you being selfish it's like you creating a family that is like it gives your boys this wonderful role model aside from you obviously having this wonderful relationship it also gives your boys this amazing role model and it's like um having that other partner who is people don't like to talk about the financial side of things sometimes, but having this other partner is like, if you have a partner who is a a provider, who is a provider type of a man, it can change your whole financial destiny. The two of you working together can like build your life, you know? So I think sometimes women get like, well, I'm single and I'm a mom. And so I need to just focus on my kids. And, and it's like, they don't, they don't realize that or, maybe there there's an obstacle or an energetic thing there or a limiting belief there that says i can't have that um that would not be possible or that would be a selfish thing to want right now you know yeah well i mean the way i look at it i manifested myself an accountant how funny is that like <laughs> i have i'm not even kidding i have zero debt my um retirement fund is like grown exponentially um, and that's not even, you know, him, his um, contribution to things. It's how he's able to provide um, his wisdom, his knowledge, his assistance mm-hmm. to how to take my money mm-hmm. and put it aside for for our future. You know, he said, mm-hmm. when we retire, we want to, you know, go around the world. We want to do our vacations. We want to be able to golf all the time and have a house in you know, the mountains and different things like that. So his, his and my goals together. Yeah. Um, he's been able to help me do that. And you know, the other thing is, and I know a lot of women think this like, Oh, I can do this on my own, whatever. It's a great thing for your children to see healthy relationships and to see you happy. You don't want them to think of you as someone that sacrificed themselves all the time and not happy and not have a wonderful example for them to see how they should have relationships in the future. Yeah. You know, so that was a big thing. And that's a big thing for us, you know, always, you know, show them 
how good communication is, how affectionate we are and how, you know, it's just, it's very important. Yeah. You know, it's very important for your kids to see you happy. Yeah. And, and for them to see you happy. And like you said, for them to get an example of healthy interdependence. Right. Because a lot of times that's the, I think that um, a lot of single women, especially single moms have, have gone into like an independence um, as a default because out of necessity, you know, financial necessity at the beginning, you know, you have to be very independent. You have to do these things, but then it, it becomes like, that goal of healthy interdependence just sort of gets put on the back burner for a long time. And you can just kind of get into the habit of always being independent, um, which is good to be able to take care of yourself, but it's so much better to be able to have someone who's got your back and you've got theirs and all those things. Um, Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to think if there was anything else that I wanted to ask you, because I know that when you have contributed uh, things to the group when you've been like, this is what has happened for me, or this is what uh, update for me. You know, you get kind of peppered with these comments and questions and people with well wishes and stuff like that. And I'm trying to think if I've seen anything that I know people want to know often, you know, when they talk about your story. Um, oh, how long did it take between when you started doing the work, the energy healing work and the the vision and all of those things that, that uh, we were doing in Date with Confidence and that I still do with my private clients now. How long between when you started doing those things and when you actually met Mike? Six months. Yeah, not very long. No, it was quick. But you know, I did every single thing you told me to do. Like I did not waver from it at all. Like you said, do this meditation. Boom. That meditation was done that night. Like I would do everything as soon as you said to do it and I would stay on it. I was very diligent yeah. about it. I'm not sure if I was, you know, kind of lackadaisical about it, how long it would have taken. Mm-hmm. And I think the fact that I did put all that work in to myself, yes. um, it, I changed exponentially. You know, I had I, cause I have the challenges too, you know, the friends like, Oh, this isn't going to work. This is so dumb. You're never going to find anybody. You know, we're forever going to be alone. I know. No. <clears throat> so I kind of just ignored those people mm-hmm. and did my own thing. Yeah. Well, you have to, cause there's always going to be those people <clears throat> and sometimes yeah. they're in your family and you can't get away from them, but you still have to ignore them, you know? Right. <laughs> but good for you. You did everything. And I remember you were very diligent about the work. And it's like, that's, I'm so glad you said that because it's such an important thing. Because not only is it that you, you get the work, so you make the changes in your own energy. But when you do the work, you are showing the universe, I am serious about this. Right. I am all Oh, in. absolutely. Yeah. So that's a huge yeah. thing. Uh, yeah, no, I did anything and everything you told me to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad. <laughs> Found myself hobbies. I was going to the gym. I was doing everything. Yeah, that's awesome. That's so great. Um, and then there was something that you just said. I'm trying to think of um, something you just said. Oh, so what do those like naysayers that are in your life, what do they think now? They're still all alone. Mm. every single one of them and like impossible to deal with like still getting the same types of men you know Mm -hmm. still oh I need you to do my profile online I need you to do this for me so that I can attract the right person and I'm like you're not going to attract the right person unless you change you yeah. You know, there's work you need to do. You're still holding on to these things. You're still, you know, having these negative thoughts. Um, it's, you know, it's the cycle and you can see it. You just want everyone to break it and mm-hmm. nobody <laughs> listens. I know. And, you know, it's like, just, just, <laughs> just do it. Just spend the time on yourself and you will get that right person, mm-hmm. you know, but every single one of them is alone still no yeah. boyfriends, no, nothing. It's really yeah. sad because yeah. it only took 
it only took me six months. And I realized that that's really quick and probably not everybody is going to be able to do it in six months, which is mm -hmm. fine. Other people may have more work to do, may have different work to do. Yeah. But even if you don't find a person within six months, you're still going to be a lot more happy with yourself. That's the big thing. You're still going to make changes in your own life and your own happiness. Sometimes what I've seen is that when women do all the work, the first thing that changes isn't their love life. It's their career. Like the first right. thing that changes is that they get a promotion or, or something like that because it's like they've learned, they're doing the work, they're letting go of the other stuff. And so now they, they love themselves more and they understand that they deserve more. And because they have the belief money is easier than love for some reason, even though they haven't cleared that belief yet, they still manifest that. Right. Money is easier than love. Okay. Then I, now that I love myself so much, I'll manifest this new job. And that's what they do first. And then they go, Oh my God, I manifested the new job. Maybe I can have love too. And then love comes after that, you know? Right. It's so amazing. It's so interesting. So if there is someone who's out there and she's thinking, that all sounds great, but I don't know. I still don't know. You know, I still don't know if it's worth investing time, money, energy, um, focus, attention into healing my own energy so that I can have what I want in my love life so that I can manifest my soulmate. What would you want to say to her? I know that can be frustrating sometimes because like you, you and I are very similar in that we get excited that it worked. So we want to tell, tell people to help them. <laughs> and yes. we're like, this will help you. This will help you so much. If you just do these things, it will help. And it will be, it's so frustrating to see people stay still when they could have what they want or to see them go in circles when they could have what they want. So what, what would you want to say to that person? Well, you know, if it doesn't hurt, right? It doesn't hurt anything to try it. You're not going to be any worse off than you were before. Mm -hmm. It can only get better. And at the worst, it can only stay the same, right? Mm -hmm. So if you work on yourself and you love yourself and things don't change, which they will anyway. <laughs> they, <laughs> they, they just will. <laughs> they always do. Me they will. Um, but at least, you know, if you don't bring somebody in right away or you don't get a new job right away, you're still going to feel better about yourself. You're still going to have a, a higher self-worth. You're going to have a better friendship or better work relationship, or maybe you'll even start realizing some things aren't working for you or some things might be better for you. It's just, I don't know. I just want to tell people it just works. Just trust me. It does. I like, I wouldn't <laughs> say, I wouldn't say this if it wasn't true. Um, but I just, just try it. It's not going to hurt anything. You're not doing anything harmful, right? Trying to, yeah. to heal. Um, you're not doing anything harmful by doing something good for yourself and you deserve it. Everybody deserves to be happy. It's just, everybody should be happy. I know I sound like that Lego movie, Everything is <laughs> Everything but is no, awesome. it's true. It, it's true. It's true. Yeah. Everybody deserves, deserves happiness in their life and, and doing your love list, doing your meditations, doing your homework on yourself, um, going to the gym, walk, taking a walk outside, enjoying the ocean, where, wherever you're at. Mm -hmm. um, taking a class. It, it's just, it's always going to make your life more enriched. Absolutely. For sure. Absolutely. I love it. And it's so <laughs> great to talk to you. I mean, it's just so great to catch up with you. It's so great to see your smile. It's so <laughs> great to just like see your face, <laughs> you know? It's I know just, it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a little while. Yeah. And yeah. it's just really great. Well, thank you so much. Thank you yeah, so no much for sharing. It's it's really cool to come back and have an update. Like I saw all of the guess what everybody kinds of posts. But it's really great to see like and this is what my life is like. Fast forward a year. <laughs> you know, this is what it's like. 
this is what happily ever after looks like a year in. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it, it didn't take long. It really didn't. Once I started, it was like, um, like an avalanche almost. It just like everything came. Like I said, we, you know, we got a house, we got new cars, we have the baby, we have this going on, we have that going on. I got a new job. You know, it's just like <laughs> everything just fell into place. Yeah. It really did. Love it. Love it. Yeah. Love it. Love it. So thank you so much, love. I really appreciate you taking time to talk about these things. You never know who you're going to inspire to make changes in her own life so that she can have what she deserves to have. And it's just so generous of, of spirit uh, for you to do that. So thank you so much. No, thank you. You're the reason that this all came about. For well, sure. you did the work. <laughs> you did the work. So we were I good. Did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, love. Thank you so much. Bye. Thanks. Bye. It was nice seeing you. You too.